Chemistry that changed the world. 246 dinitrotoluene. So, what is it? 246 dinitrotoluene is an odorless yellow crystalline solid that's non naturally occurring uh, and it was originally developed as a dye for clothing until later its explosive nature was discovered. This is due to its being stable under standard conditions. It was first discovered by Joseph Wilbrand in 1863, and once its explosive nature was found, it quickly replaced the less stable explosives, like black powder and nitroglycerin. This allowed for the construction of railroads and other engineering projects, due to it being stable so it can be transported over long distances. So its first large use in military in World War One, when due to its higher activation energy, it would have a delayed explosion, causing far greater damage to vehicles and machines. It also, due to its being able to be mixed with other compounds like ammonium nitrate, could produce far cheaper explosives for around the same amount of energy released. The energy released from TNT is also used as an equivalent now as uh, to quantify the energy of an explosion, which is measured in per ton of TNT. The, project, the production of 246 trinitrotoluene is many methods which vary through time over time and from different regions around the world, but these are generally like either batch or continuous flow production. The overall outcome though is the nitration of a toluene molecule. Generally, two nitrations occur, but first the nitrite ion has to be produced. This is through the mixing of sulfuric acid and nitric acid. The nitrite ion is then mixed at high temperatures with the toluene to form either 2,4-dinitrobenzene or mononitrobenzene. Or other isomers will also be produced, but these will be washed away later. This solution is then washed with water, and due to its decreased reactivity from the ni increased nitro groups, which are electron withdrawing, a more reactive mixture must be added for a further nitration. This is generally nitric acid and oleum, which is a combination of sulfuric acid and sulfur, tri sulfur, sulfur trioxide. This solution is then washed with water at high temperatures to remove any remaining acids, and then it's ready for purification. There are two methods of purifying the TNT. This is either crystallization or sulfitation. In crystallization, either alcohol is generally used as a solvent, but the crystallization reaction isn't used commonly for mass production, more just in a laboratory. The more common use is on mass production is sulfitation, which is adding sodium sulfite to the solution at high temperatures and allowing it to be stirred. The sodium sulfite solution removes any of the impure, any impurities or unwanted products in the TNT and then is removed as the TNT is cooled and forms crystals. So the future of TNT is it's going to have continued use across the world as both in military and engineering, but in countries like the United States it's been gradually replaced due to it being a less effective explosive and the development of new explosives. This also may lead to a movement of production away from countries like the United States, as production generally only occurs for military, and so import TNT will most likely occur. Uh,